Hello, welcome to my tutorial on Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. <coughs> Microsoft Virtual PC 2007 is an open source product made by Microsoft that is available to all users who use Windows. What this program does is allows you to create or use virtual PCs. Virtual PCs are like a virtual operating system that you are using in your operating system. It's basically a portable version of Windows that you can bring anywhere as it only uses one file. <coughs> Once you have installed Virtual PC, double click the icon on your desktop or in your start menu and what should appear is the new Virtual Machine Wizard. Click next and then you can either create a virtual machine, use the default settings or add an existing one. You're going to create a virtual machine. You can also use the name and location. I'm going to call it Windows XP Home Edition. I'm going to click OK. Now obviously it's going to use Windows XP. You also have a whole variety of different Windows you can use. Like the different server editions or the basic ones. Now you can either use the recommended RAM which is 128 megabytes, or you can adjust it just by using this little drag thing. You can either use an existing virtual hard disk or create a new one. I'm going to create a new one and obviously you can create it as big as you like. I'm going to make mine 30 gig, 130 gig. And basically this won't use 130 gig of your hard drive. It'll only expand as you use it. So don't get worried that it's going to use all of the hard drive instantaneously. Now configuring the settings is easy by just clicking the settings button. You can change the file name, how much RAM or memory you have. The hard disk drives you can have up to three so you can have more than one. You can use the CD and DVD drives, your floppy disk, COM and LPT ports, your network adapters, I'm just going to use none the sound, hardware virtualization, mouse pointer integration, shared folders, the display of whether you want it to be in full screen mode when you start it or not, and what happens when you click close. Now I'm going to start up one that I've already previously made, Windows XP Professional, and I'm going to click start. What we'll do is it'll start a virtual PC in a BIOS form, which is just like your computer would normally start up. Basically it will automatically load the operating system that you have installed and the operating system is only in one file or however many files or hard drives you have using it. I'll show you where it gets saved. Just click on the start button and go into your my documents. This is where it gets saved. It gets saved <coughs> in my virtual machines and just click on your virtual machine and as you can see it's only 2.4 gig which is actually compressed using virtual PC console now I've got two hard disk drives, I've got a hard, the normal hard disk and the data hard disk the normal one, when you have clean installation of Windows XP Professional on virtual PC console it's 1.49 gig without any applications, just, just the normal ones that get installed using the install disk 2.27 gig is only a little bit more than that so this this Windows XP can be brought around with you anywhere using on your USB or a portable device so you have your settings file your hard drive and your other hard drive which is pretty good too because you can bring all these around with you as well all you need is virtual PC installed and now that Windows XP has loaded fully I'm just going to drag this out a bit more to make it full screen, all you use is Alt Enter. That'll make it full screen easily. And obviously, I don't have a password. But if you have Control Alt Delete set up on Windows XP, you just use Alt Delete, which is also Control Alt Delete on here as well. If you want Control Alt Delete while you had it like this, it would actually open up the Car Manager on your physical computer, not your virtual computer. Basically, Virtual PC is a virtual p computer, a bit like a normal one but it's just converted into a smaller size and in the Microsoft Virtual PC format. 
Obviously, once Windows is loaded, you can see that you have all your normal icons on your desktop. And it's exactly the same as what it would usually be on your normal computer. Obviously, it loads the same, it looks the same, and it feels the same. Really, it is the same. You could use this, you could have a Windows 98 computer, but copy and paste this file onto it and use Windows XP on that computer. Or you could have Windows Vista and decide you want to have Windows XP as well, so you can put this on here without having any damage to Windows Vista. Because this doesn't go anywhere into your physical computer. Only if you share folders. But it will not be able to even touch any of the hard disk drives on the physical computer. Except for ones that you have made. With this you can use networking, you can use the hard drive, you can use the CD, you can use floppy and any shared folders that you use. Obviously this all looks the same and if you just want to exit it, you click the close button and it will come up with a few little things that you can do. You can either save what it's like, you can shut down Windows XP, or you can just turn it off straight away which is an automatic instantaneous shutdown. And that basically just turns it off. Virtual PC is free for all users willing to use it and it is an excellent little thing that you can use. I hope you enjoy it.